All right, Sarah earns $15 per hour tutoring student athletes at Brooklyn University. The information already gives us and tells us right here, per hour, that is the key. That means that for every one hour she makes $15. If I wanted to write that in a ratio, one to 15. All right, let's look at part A of this question. If Sarah tutored for 12 hours this month, how much money did she earn this month? All right, the easiest thing to do would be the algorithm, but let's go ahead and try actually drawing the model first and see if we recognize the solution. And then we'll check our answer with the algorithm, all right? So we're not gonna stay away from that. Let's go ahead and draw the forever faithful T-chart. And I'm going to number out here hours and pay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Okay, so if I know that she makes $15, that means that for one hour, that means in two hours she'll make $30. For three hours, she'll make $45. Now, if you're not very good with fluency or if you can't think that, then you know what? It's okay if you actually add. I don't know my multiples of 15. I was only taught till 12. So what I do after that is I don't usually rely on a calculator, even though I could. But I'll do myself a favor and give myself some brain exercises. So then I'll go ahead and add right here 45 plus 15. 5 plus 5 is 0, 60, plus 15, 75, continuing on, 75 plus 15, that equals 10, 90, 90 plus 15, 0 plus 5 is 5, 9 plus 1 is 10, 105, Plus 15, 105 plus 15, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1 over, 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 1, 0 plus 5 is 5, 2 plus 1 is 3, 135, 135 plus 15, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1 over, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 150, plus 15, 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, 1 plus 1, I'm sorry, 1 plus nothing is 165, 165 plus 15, 5 plus 5 is 0, Let's carry the 1 over, 1 plus 6 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8, 1 plus nothing is 1, all equaling 180. 180. Now am I done? No. I have to rewrite that in a complete sentence. How much money did she earn this month? And who's she? I can go back and write Sarah. I can write Sarah earned, because it happened in the past, $180 for the 12 hours she worked. All right, now let's look at this part right here. If she, if Sarah tutored for 19.5 hours last month, how much did she earn last month? What's going to be a little tricky here is the 
0.5. That's basically half the time because we're looking at hours. Anytime you look at 0.5, it equals 30 minutes. Because 1 equals 60 minutes. What's half of 1? 0.5. All right. So, if we know that in one hour, she makes $15, then how much does she make for 30 minutes? Now, this is the part where you have to really focus. Anytime you're going to take half of something, you always divide it by two. Two is one of those weird numbers that anytime you're going to take half of a cake, a pizza, of a pie, steak, whatever you name it, you always divide it by two. Think about it this way. You have a whole pizza, it's you and your friend. How much you're going to divide it into? Two. And if you're eating a half a pizza by yourself, you better be working out. So let's go ahead and look at this. So 15 divided by two. Two goes into one no times. Two goes into 15 seven times because at least 14. So 15 minus 14 is 1. Don't have enough, so I'm going to add just a few zeros. And see that I added a decimal? I'm adding another one on top. I'm going to carry the zero down. 2 goes into 10 five times minus 10, 0. Bring the zero down. 2 goes into 0. And plus, I'm dealing with money, so it's not like I can say I have $7.5. Nobody talks like that. You have to look at it. As in, remember, I look at decimals always at money. 50 cents, 75 cents, 25 cents. Especially back in the day when I played arcades, I knew everything about quarters and how much I needed for every single level of different X-Men versus Street Fighter. But that's another story. So we know that 30 minutes equals $7.50. What I'm going to do now is... Continue on with the mathematical practice as far as what do I already know and how can I build on that knowledge. I'm not going to start all over by putting 1 right here. I'm going to actually put 12. Why? Because look, I already did it up here. Why work harder? Remember, work smart, not hard. So let's go ahead and add 12. I'm going to go with 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 19.5 hours. I'm labeling my top hours, bottom pay. However, I'm looking for that. So, I'm going to put 19.5 right here. Because 19.5 is in the middle of 19 and 20. All right. <clears throat> so, it looks like I have to continue adding. I'm going to make some space right here. And let's continue on with the 180 plus 15. And this is going to go to the 13. 0 plus 5 is 5. 8 plus 1 is 9. Plus 1 is 195. So 13, 195. Let's add another 15. 5 plus 5 is 0. Carry the 1 over. 1 plus 9 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. Carry the 1 over. 1 plus 1 is 2. All right, she's starting to make big bucks now. $210 for the 14. For the 15, plus... 15, 0 plus 5 is 5, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus nothing is 2, all equaling 225. 225 plus 15, 5 plus 5 is 0, carry the 1 over. Let's go ahead, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4, 2 plus nothing is 2, all equal to $240. Run out of space, I'm going to add it right here. 0 plus 5 is 5, 4 plus 1 is 5, 2 plus nothing is 2, $255. Man, this girl's making bank, making it rain. All right, 
plus another 15. 15 plus 5 is 0 plus, I'm sorry, 10. Carry the 1 over. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 2 is 2, 70. Let's keep going. 0 plus 5 is 5. 7 plus 1 is 8. 2 plus 0, nothing is 2, 285. Now here's the nice part. Let's go ahead and thankfully I have a whiteboard desk to work with. I ran out of space there. But let's look at this. Two. Eighty-five. I could add the fifteen, but I know that seven dollars and fifty cents is the thirty minutes that we need, and we're already at number nineteen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add, line up my decimals. This is two hundred eighty-five dollars I'm working with. Could look at pay. So I'm gonna add, and I'm gonna line up the decimals when I do. Seven point five zero. If I would have wrote it, and I know some of you guys might have been tempted to have wrote it like 285 plus 7.50, that would have been wrong. Because remember, when you're dealing with this, you're dealing with money. And the decimals always have to line up. And as a matter of fact, the decimals always have to line up when you're adding or subtracting. So don't forget that. So if you're adding or subtracting, decimals line up. There's just no question about it. That's just the way currency's been ran throughout history. Let's go ahead and find out that 19.5. So 0 plus 0 is 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 plus 7 is 12. Carry the 1 over. 1 plus 8 is 9. And the 2 plus nothing is nothing. We can fill that in here. 292.5. We make sure we circle it. And yes, we still have to write a complete sentence, even though I've taken up a lot of space on here. So let's go ahead and just box everything out and use this little area right here. Sarah earned And 50 cents for 19.5 hours. All right. There you go. We solved A and B. And I guess if you ever thought of babysitting, well, now you know how much you charge and how much you'll make if you work at least 19.5 hours.